Hi, everyone. Thanks for coming. Since we are here at Team, I wanted to start off by introducing you to my team. This picture was taken just last month in Austin, Texas, and it was the very first time that we had all been together in person, and I've been on this team for about three years. Uh, Normally, we are working from all across the United States, from Luke over here in Boston, all the way to RAN near San Francisco. And not only are we split up geographically, we're also split between different projects. We're typically working on two or three different projects at once. And in different locations and with different streams of work, it would be easy for our team to feel disconnected. But we actually have a strong bond. And that hasn't happened by accident. We've been very intentional about creating opportunities for our team to connect, have fun together, and to understand each other's work. One of the ways that we do that is by holding a regular sync meeting over Zoom, where we connect back to the big picture, share updates on our projects, and go through any important announcements. This team meeting was already happening when I joined the team a few years ago, but although it was helpful, it was kind of boring. And besides, the page where we were storing our agenda and notes over time had gotten so big and so slow that opening the page to prepare for the meeting and take notes was becoming really tedious. So we decided to try moving our meeting agenda to Trello. And that one change altered the entire feel of our meeting. Suddenly, instead of just one or two people preparing for the meeting each week, the entire team was involved, adding notes and pictures and links for what they wanted to talk about. And it was so easy to make changes in Trello that the team began making even more suggestions for how we could improve our meeting. Not only did moving to Trello make our meeting more effective, it gave the team a sense of ownership that was missing before. So how can you achieve this with your team? Well, today I'm going to show you how to set up a basic meeting agenda board in Trello. We'll look at how to use that board before, during, and after your meeting. And I'll also walk you through a few more advanced features that can help you take your meeting board to the next level. The example that I'm using in this, uh, in this uh, slides here today is based on my team's actual meeting agenda, but you'll be able to use these concepts and features to customize your board so that it's a perfect fit for your team. OK, so how do we get started? Well, if you've used Trello before, you know that the first step with any Trello board is to add lists. The lists are going to re reflect your overall meeting structure. Of course, there are many different ways to do this, but I'm going to show you how my team does it. First, we have a list for recurring topics. These are topics that we discuss every single time. Next, we have a list for our ongoing projects. We'll discuss these for as long as the project is in progress, and cards move into and out of the list as they start and finish. Next, we have a list for one-off announcements. And finally, we have a done list. And this is where we move cards after we're done talking about them. Now, this is typically used for announcements, but we also move projects here after they're complete. Now that we have our basic structure in place, it's time to add some cards. Let's start with our recurring list. Now, I like to start off very high level with a reminder of the team's mission and goals and a quick look at the roadmap. After that, you can see we have a card titled Quick Project Updates with an arrow emoji and a similar card titled Announcements. These cards let us know when it's time to discuss the project updates and announcements list. And then we can go back to our recurring list and we have a reminder to check the team calendar. So you don't have to go through every card in a list before you move on to the next one. This one will give you a clue of when to jump back and forth. Next, in this project updates list, we'll add a card for each of our team's major projects. And finally, we'll add any important announcements before the meeting. Now, if you stopped here, you would still have a pretty good setup for your next team meeting. But let's take a look at a few things you can do while you're getting ready that could help the meeting run even more smoothly. For example, have you ever been in a meeting waiting patiently for the next speaker to start before you finally realized it was actually your turn to talk? Just me? No? OK, well, I've definitely been there. And I can tell you, that is easy to avoid in Trello. You can add the speaker uh, as the, a member of each card 
so that it's easy for anyone to see who's speaking next. I've also seen some teams use custom fields, which are available with any paid edition of Trello, to indicate how much time is available for a given topic. This can keep the meeting running smoothly, especially if you have some topics that might generate a lot of discussion. And if you're really feeling pressed for time, it can be helpful to add a label calling out which topics are the most urgent. This way you can prioritize these cards and know that you're covering the most important items even if you're not able to get through everything in your agenda. And while we're adding our cards, we can also add some extra details so that when it's time to discuss a given topic, you already have the important information right there in your Trello board without having to have lots of tabs open during your meeting. So for example, right here in the description, we could have a summary of the topic and even an image such as a design you want the team to review or a graph like you see here. And you can also add links and files as attachments to the card. The project, teams, uh, the project leads on my team like to have a bit of fun with this by choosing an image that represents their project, often in an unexpected way, and adding that as the cover photo for a card. Trello even supports animated GIFs, so if you want to have a spinning globe representing your team's localization project, we're not stopping you. And this may seem trivial, but letting the team customize the board in this way gives them a greater sense of ownership in the meeting, and besides, it's just more fun. Okay, so you're done preparing for your meeting, and now it is time to actually meet with your team. Let's take a look at some features that can help you out during the meeting as well. For example, as you're going through your discussion, you, it's a, you may want to take some notes of important items that came up so that you can refer back to those later. A great way to do this in Trello is to add a comment with your notes. Comments will be shown with the date that they were added, so you can just scroll through the card for a quick look at the entire history of the discussion of that topic, making this really useful for recurring cards that you're going to discuss more than once, like your project updates. You may also have a, an action item come up during the meeting, and you can record those as a checklist on the card so that you don't forget about them later. And if you have a paid edition of Trello, you can also add a member and due date to that checklist item so that you can make sure it doesn't fall through the cracks after your meeting. Now, after you've shared an announcement or given the last update on a project that's been completed, you can go ahead and move that card to the done list. Now, my team has a trick that we use to make it easy to see when we discuss each topic. We've set up Trello's automation feature so that each time a card is moved to the done list, the current date is added to that card, as you can see here. And this way, if we want to know what we discussed at a given meeting, we can just look for cards that have that date on them. Now, even after your meeting, your Trello board can help you and your team stay on the same page. So if you want to catch up on a particular topic that was discussed, you can open that card, read through the description and the comments, and take a look at any links or files that were attached. But what if you miss the entire meeting and you want to get a quick overview of everything that was discussed? That's where the board's activity feed comes in handy. By opening the board menu and scrolling down to the activity feed, you can see all of the cards, attachments, and checklists that were added and look through all of those at once in a very quick manner. Okay, so by now you've seen that even a very basic Trello board can add structure to your meeting, and we've touched on a couple of Trello's more advanced features, such as automation and custom fields. Let's take a look at a few more advanced features that can help you get even more out of your, your meeting board. Let's start with our list of projects. So we talked about using this meeting to connect back to the big picture, and a great way to do that is by showing your team your roadmap regularly so they can see how the different work streams fit together and what's coming up next. An easy way to achieve this in Trello is by using the timeline view, which is available with both Trello Premium and Trello Enterprise. All you need to do is add a start date and an end date to any card, and it will show up right here in the timeline view. So this is, these are the same cards that we saw in our project updates list, which you can see that has the listing here. We're just looking at them with a different perspective. This timeline view is great for giving your team an overview of what you're looking at, what you're going to be working on over time. But sometimes you also need to get into the details of what you're working on right now. And for that, you may want to refer to, where, to where information from wherever you're actually tracking your work. Now my team, unsurprisingly, we work at Trello, we track our work in Trello. 
So we use a power-up called Hello Epics to help us get a glimpse at how the project work is progressing. Power-ups are extensions that you can add to your Trello board to give them extra functionality. They're available from both Elastian and third-party developers, and they cover a wide variety of use cases. The power-up that my team has used, Hello Epics, allows us to set relationships between cards so that we can easily see how the project work is progressing just by looking at a single card. Now, I'm sure this talk of epics is very familiar to any of you tracking your team's work in Jira. If you're tracking work in Jira, could you raise your hand? Okay, yeah, quite a few of you. Well, never fear, we have a way for you to easily refer to those Jira tickets in your Trello board as well. First, you'll need to copy a URL from your Jira ticket and then open the relevant card in Trello and paste that URL into the card description. You can either display that as an inline link or as a card view, and I have one of each in this sample here. Then click on full screen view, and you can find it on Hover for this inline link. This will open, allow you to view and even edit the Jira ticket right from your Trello board, so you can easily check on the status of child issues and your uh, subtasks without having to leave your Trello board at all. When you're done, you click on the X, you're right back where you left off. Now, if you watched Anu's keynote today, you might recognize this as a smart link. Smart links give you extra context about a link without you having to leave the page you're on. As you can imagine, this is incredibly useful for meetings where you may need to refer to content from multiple sources as you're going through your agenda. You can even use smart links on the board level without having to open a card. For example, if there was a company announcement shared in Confluence, you can paste the URL for that page as the title of a card, and Trello will create a link card based on that content. So you can see that it's showing the title and a snippet from that Confluence page. Once again, we can click on full screen view to read through the page and share the announcement with the team without having to leave the board. Gone are the days of needing to have 15 tabs open just to get through your meeting. With smart links, all you need is a Trello board. Okay, so we've talked about a lot so far. Feels like this 15 minutes going by fast. So what are you going to do now with all of this information? Well, when you set up your own meeting board, I'd like to encourage you to keep things simple at first before you start adding lots of different features. Use the board a few times and then ask your team how they're feeling about the meeting and what could be improved. Just like we have agile software development, we can have agile meeting development. Using their feedback, you can then iterate on the meeting and on your Trello board so that it gets better and better each time you run the meeting. If you need any help getting started, I've put together a template board similar to the example I've used today, and you can find that in Trello's template gallery by searching for weekly sync. You can also scan the QR code, and if you can't get it here, find me at the Trello booth later and I'll help you scan this. You can scan the QR code to go directly to this template. We have a few other weekly meeting templates in the, the template gallery as well, so feel free to try a few and see which one your team likes best. You do not have to use mine. I will not be offended. Thanks for taking the time to attend this session today. Now you know how to structure a, a weekly team sync meeting, or bi-weekly, like my team does it, using a Trello board as the agenda. I hope that you feel confident now in using some of Trello's more advanced features. And I hope that you'll either create your own board or use one of our templates to try this out with your team. Enjoy the rest of Team 23. Thank you.